All right, guys, I'm back. Here's part two. Um, I just finished setting up the five that I told you guys I was working on. Um, as you can see, there's the empty lids from some of the boxes that I used. Um, there's the other five. And for the finished product, right here. Here they are, nice and sturdy. Um, I do notice that they do kind of slide a little bit. Um, when you put the boxes all the way in, they kind of slide back a little bit. But that's fixable. But the concept works. I mean, they can't hang out as far as the comic book drawers do. But there you go. So that's them hanging out. And see, so you, can, you can do it with one hand. BCW, baby. Like I said, all I did was poke holes, and here I'll show you the holes. As long as the holes are lined up, that's why I measured them with the measuring tape. You know, the the right distance for each each set, so that way when you put the, um, the zip tie through this hole, it'll come out and through back through this hole, and then you'll zip tie it. So that'll lock them two boxes here, 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 and here. Basically, there's the drawer boxes. They're only doing one hole, but you have those little clips that clip into each other. Here I use two, and I use a zip tie, and there's the result. As you can see, I have them stacked. They stack perfectly. They line up perfectly with the drawer boxes. And, uh, yeah. So, guys, this is the Junkie. This is part two of my how to make your own homemade uh, drawer boxes. And as you can see, I mean, there's... The only difference you can tell is the the writing. I mean, other than that, you can put your own little labels like I do here. Focus. You can put your own little labels on there. And like I said, each one you can pull out probably, I would say, a little more than halfway that I'm comfortable with. But I'm sure there's a way somebody else can improve on it. But you see the last box is pulled out, and it's not affecting the other rows. And like I said, this cost me 10 shells, cost me $46 free shipping. Zip ties were like $250. And a pen, um, a measuring tape, and a, a screwdriver. Basically, is all I needed to punch the holes through. And the holes were easy to punch through. But that's it, guys. That's uh, the junkie's way of making uh, comic book drawers um, homemade style. Because I basically want to turn all those boxes. See how I, in my last video I was talking about how I didn't like the way they stacked. To me this looks awkward. But with this way, it's a cheaper solution than doing the drawer boxes. And, uh, and, it, and it looks the same. It's got the same look, the same dimensions and everything as the drawer boxes. Like I said, they slide back a little bit. So you've got to kind of shift it. Actually, they're just a tad bit shorter. But, hey, who cares? But anyways, and you can use your existing BCW short boxes in there, too. So, you don't have to waste material. Anyways, guys, um, I'll probably make a haul video tomorrow when I get off work. But, there's basically all the books I got over in, from eBay and my local shop in the past couple days. So, yeah, look for that. And this is a Junkie, and I'm out.